ढोलक लगा के मिट्टी का तू बाजी आज लगा ले ओ तिलक लगा के मिट्टी का तू बाजी आज लगा ले तुझ में जो चिंगारी है उस शोला आज बना ले जान लगा के खेल खिलाड़ी ओ जान लगा के खेल खिलाड़ी साथ हमेशा स्पोर्ट्स इंडी शान बढ़ा तू रहे अगाड़ी जीत की भाषा स्पोर्ट्स इंडी one more episode of the world of sports on the sports indie channel the program is produced by miti group borrowing on the idea presented by supriya badwe the ceo of sports indie well this is the last saturday of the month of march and we began the month of march with something very very special on our minds the entire month we have celebrated and of course we will continue to celebrate but this is the idea of womanhood and through this program we have been honoring the achievements of women in sports in the world of sports we have brought to you women sports coaches as well as trainers who themselves have been extremely well accomplished today we have with us a very senior coach of the women in blue that's right it's about cricket cricket women's cricket before i call upon today's guest I would also like to welcome an equally accomplished businesswoman, as I said, whose heart beats for sports as well as the sporting culture. She is going to join us very soon on this program, and she is Supriya Badwe, who is the founder and CEO of Sports Indie, as well as the executive director of Badwe Group. But talking about today's guest, today we have with us Anuradha Reddykar. May we welcome her on the show? Allah thank you, ma'am. Very warm welcome. Yeah, thank you so much, ma'am. So, Anuradha Redkar is also is the coach for Goa Cricket Association, and she has been a senior coach for One Day as well as T Twenty matches. And we are going to know a little more from her, not just about what it means to be a coach to a cricket team, but at the same time, what is her idea of taking cricket ahead? Anuradha, the cricket yes. is the sport of the nation. I mean. Uh, although it is not a national sport yet it is such a popular sport how did you begin your journey with cricket uh i uh, i always been into sports from my uh, when i was young i have seen my cousin playing but more it was interested that we were watching on live tv that all the men crickets were watch watched together all of our family so that make me like to take pursue in this cricket but is it just about watching cricket and uh, seeing people play it because i'm sure yeah, there are many other games around we were playing all the games but in our home only when we all cousin used to get together but we used to play more cricket okay. and i'm the only person with them was playing cricket all right was it very unusual it was unusual no, but my granny always supported me to play my cousin supported me to play because only like a tom boy in a uh, family of 26 ah okay we have a 26 cousin so all together we used to meet at granny's place and where we used to play more sports and right. there i uh, build up my uh, sports thing so this was more than a single cricket team would ask for right 26 of them was like a huge one yeah. right? so, yes <laughs> so tell us also something about since we are talking about cricket and uh, particularly women's cricket would you be able to sh- you know tell us a little more about the brief journey of women's cricket in india cricket has been there for a very long time yeah girls have interest in cricket like from villages or in city all have interest but there was not a right path or anybody guide them actually when i was there like i was playing other sports so somebody came and told me that there is a selection we just went for there and thing is that to make a team it was difficult at when i was playing in before 90s so we have to call from other sports player make a team and we used to go for a tour to play cricket 
because we had an interest and journey was difficult to bring because we have to convince parents first of all because there was no parents who can support cricket because there was no career in cricket or in sports as per parents are concerned they were more of education because they were giving more importance to the education not a sports hmm. but but one thing is that my, our family is always supported me in uh, cricket mm -hmm. to pursue my whatever i wanted to do they never stopped they said you do your education as well as your sports so i said you give me a sport i'll do what i want i'll do what you want also so i did my education also better uh, along with my sports okay that was fantastic so i guess doing well in one sphere also help you do better in another one yes yes because I, uh, i have balanced myself better i think that's a wonderful example because this is something which is on the minds of a large number of people particularly parents then they have to think about uh, you know letting their children their wards uh, choose a particular field and although education is important and it remains important but the fact that there are other areas which also make a part which can be a part of your life and which make your life more fulfilling is something Correct. that people have to understand as well uh, but anuradha ji tell me something now this is a very very common thing to happen i'm asking this question to you somebody who has been uh, you know a trainer and a coach of women yeah but matlab lage hath when we move around gali mohalle mein you have people playing cricket Yeah, yes, they play all types of games, but cricket is one of the most popular ones being seen around. If there is yeah. a huge maidan, there will be at least twenty teams playing in that maidan, I and mean, different ones, you know, playing the cricket. Yeah, this is more about the boys playing cricket, more about the men playing cricket. We rarely do see girls uh, in in those multiple th teams. So, what according to you in this situation can be considered as the highs or the lows of cricket? particularly when it comes to girls or particularly when it comes to women uh because men think that they for them it everything is natural they think we have to do it or we have to practice but they don't support few people will support like your parents who is in cricket aa chalo khelte hai waise ho jata hai lekin if you go in gali they will say aapko kya aata hai आपको नहीं आएगा हमको आपको सिखाना पड़ेगा तो वो शर्म आ जाती है उन लोगों को सो दे से नो नो लेटर यू जस्ट फील्ड बाकी सब हम देख लेंगे लेकिन दे टेक ओनली फॉर द फील्डिंग बट नॉट फॉर बैटिंग और बोलिंग क्योंकि सिखाना पड़ता है तो इट बिकम डिफिकल्ट टू टीच वुमन बट इट इज रॉन्ग बिकॉज वुमेन्स आर ऑल्सो अ टैलेंटेड उनको सिर्फ एक बार सिखाया तो वो सीख जाते हैं बट मैंस उनके बैक ऑफ द माइंड है कि ये नहीं सीखते बिकॉज दे think only they are the great not the women's precisely because that is what i'm saying it's a social perception about it uh, you know about yes. everything because one has to realize that sports also involves a certain skill set and skills can be by every anyone it is not having any issue to it correct absolutely or hamara so inner hame uh, choice for one thing i can add बिकॉज हमें चॉइस दिया नहीं जाता है बिकॉज वी हैव अ चॉइस मतलब हमको जो करना है वो पेरेंट्स भी नहीं देते बाहर गए थे नो बडी गिव यू चॉइस एजुकेशन ओनली इज अ थिंग और घर पे आके काम करो दैट इज द वुमन थिंग दे से रीजन बट आई एम गोइंग टू होल्ड ऑन टू दिस पार्ट ऑफ द क्वेश्चन आई एम गोइंग टू कम बैक टू इट वंस अगेन एट दिस पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम आई वुड लाइक टू इन्वाइट सुप्रिया बडवे जी and as i said she is ready to be here on the show supriya ji welcome on the show once again thank you thank you priyamata thank you so much and we have with us anuradha redkar who is the coach for goa goa cricket association also a senior coach for one day as well as t20 matches would you like to formally kind of invite her now that you are here yes 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 anuradha ji very warm welcome to sports indi platform and we are happy that uh, uh, cricket is like something which is loved by everyone in in india yeah. and cricket is like a god uh, for all of us all of us <laughs> yeah yeah so and thank you so much 
Supriya ma'am for welcoming me on the show. Yeah, and uh, I'm I'm happy that now it's like uh, it was it is a like it is treated as a male dominated game, but. Uh, today you are uh, women in uh, cricket has shown that there is powerful or uh, strength in them to to just uh, participate in uh, cricket so i i am i'm eagerly waiting to hear from you today so thanks for being on the on this platform yeah thank you so much for inviting me ma'am because woman power is much better than men i feel क्योंकि वुमन कुछ भी कर सकते हैं अगर उसके जहन में है तो Uh, you know, who will be playing cricket? A very casual one, but the visibility of this is more related to the boys and not so much towards the girls. So cricket is seen, but it's the boys who are playing the cricket and not so much of the girls playing the cricket. And that is that was my whole idea about you know the visibility part of it. Now this brings us to that other part of the question, Anuradha ji, uh, yeah. and I would like you to answer this. What in such a situation, where as you said, uh, you may want to do something, but being a woman or being a girl. Uh, right from the house, there is a certain resistance. Even if at a later stage, they definitely come over to support you. And society is a completely different game together. So what do you see as highs or the lows for this game? What is the best part of this game when it comes to the girls or women playing it? And where, what is something that still remains as a challenge? हाइस रहेगा कि अगर आप आ रहे हो, खेल रहे हो, then it will give you a fame. फेम दे देगी बट यू हैव टू मेंटेन यू व्हाट यू आर डूइंग इट एट द राइट एज आप स्टार्ट कर रहे हो क्रिकेट मतलब एट द एज ऑफ टेन नाउ एट प्रेजेंट गर्ल्स आर स्टार्टिंग एट द एज ऑफ टेन इज द राइट टाइम टू परस्यू क्रिकेट बिकॉज यू कैन लर्न योर बेसिक स्किल इन थ्री इयर्स लाइक टेन इलेवन ट्वेल्व एंड यू आर रेडी फॉर द अंडर सिक्सटीन वेर वी हैव अंडर सिक्सटीन टीम ऑल्सो सो parents has been aware because has uh, before cricket was not bcci has not taken it it was very difficult for girls to pursue cricket or sports jab se 2006 se bcci ne women's cricket liya hai so it has been growth has been very vast because there is no uh, you can't see behind because always forward because there are lots of matches have been played and it has been uh, live cricket ho raha hai ki aap online dekh sakte ho uh, live cricket viewers abhi bad gaye hai dekhne ke liye parents mm -hmm. uh, involvement bhi abhi bad gaya hai cricket so there is hi i'm saying like it is more of uh, media ne bhi bahut kuch dikhaya because of bcci bi into bcci mm -hmm. like ma'am also doing it one side uh, supriya ma'am true Thank you, thank you. So, so Anuradha ji, you have been a head coach. You have been a senior coach. Yeah. Uh, now, as a coach of uh, women's cricket team, or generally a sport that we are looking at now, what are the challenges that you feel as a coach, and how do you deal with these challenges? Challenges, bahati hote hai cricket mein because you have to manage senior players. Mm -hmm. First of all, you have to manage uh, men's. when you are playing because it is the men's cricket finally so competition bahut hi rehta hai but when it comes to challenge i take accept the challenge and fight for it because mm -hmm. cricket mein bahut hi calmness work karta hai you can't react yahan pe react kar gaye to cricket you can't take it personally nahi lena hai to so calmness reh ke how can you fight for it inner peace is more important in cricket जितना आप काम रहोगे एंड दिस स्पोर्ट शोज यू हाउ टू बी अ काम यू आर एग्रेसिव बट वंस यू कम इन द स्पोर्ट्स यू बिकम काम बिकॉज यू एंजॉय इट मतलब आप अंदर से एंजॉय करने लगते हो तो कामनेस आ जाती है बिकॉज हाउ मच टेंशन यू हैव एट होम वंस यू एंटर ऑन द ग्राउंड यू डोंट नो वॉट इज हैपनिंग यू डोंट नो वॉट इज योर हाउस नथिंग यू जस्ट वॉच प्ले देर एंजॉय प्लेइंग योर प्लेयर्स 
doing well your players that makes you more happier for me it is like that my players doing well or my team doing well makes me happy so now that brings me to my next question what are the challenges yes. that you face on the field while dealing with the players or training them uh, i don't feel that much challenge is actually because whatever is difficult i enjoy actually because i plan my session properly so that it doesn't become difficult so i explain the players whatever first only i plan before in hand i give the players such thing is going to happen and it goes accordingly if any difficulty found i go uh, talk one to one to the player and sort it out whatever it is if they are facing any problem so communication is more important for me when i am dealing with players mm -hmm. क्योंकि एक yes, yeah. अगर आप किसी का प्रॉब्लम सॉर्ट आउट करोगे तो इट बिकम मच इजियर टू परस्यू इन स्पोर्ट्स बिकॉज ग्रजिस लेके कुछ नहीं होता है सो इट्स बेटर इफ पर्सन इज फाइंडिंग सम प्रॉब्लम सो वी हैव टू फाइंड द रीजन व्हाई दैट इज हैपनिंग एंड गो फॉर द रीजन एंड वर्क ऑन दैट पर्सन for the last one entire is women special episodes you know to commemorate 8 march and in today's episode would you want to comment a little about the allergies here and we're talking about women's cricket and we have had one more coach that we you know all this last episodes that we particularly in the month of march commemorating the women birth yes uh, priyam but i think there is some small some sort of disturbance but uh, uh, just i want to i want to add my views on uh, women in sports so research has showed that there is almost 29% participation uh, in, in 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 india so and uh, what i feel that uh, or what i i i got from research that uh, the two top states uh, uh, for highest participation in sports are tamil nadu and maharashtra uh, in uh, tamil nadu there is 54% participation in sports and maharashtra 53% uh, uh, what what i feel that for men the cricket volleyball football uh, and kabaddi weightlifting do these are the these are the team games that are available uh, but uh, mm -hmm. for women there are few choice, choices uh, thanks to bcci and government of india that uh, they have opened up this opportunity of women cricket to Uh, with indian girls and with that the participation has increased a lot and we have seen the uh, excellent performance of indian uh, women uh, female uh, team and uh, they 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 are really extraordinary uh, uh, contributing towards indian sports uh, today we have anuraza ji with us and she is herself is a coach for a uh, cricket women in cricket so i feel really there is a, yes a positive a positive climb of ambience has been there in in the in the sports area and yes indian women are more keen and they really want to contribute in in the in the sports but i think we as a society and uh we as a parents uh, we should we should take more interest uh, uh, for providing our girls to pursue cricket or to pursue any game or any sports as a career as so uh, it's is our responsibility as a nation as an as a parents and uh, because because what i have what we have seen that uh, in olympics uh, women has performed excellent uh, and they brought many medals to us uh, as a, as a nation so uh, the dedication of flexibility uh, the uh, to 
sincere efforts and these are the most important qualities uh, nature has offered us as a as a women and uh, we have that uh, persuasion ability once we we take something in our hand so we we try to just uh, make it happen so these are few inherent characteristics characteristics which has which which have been we have inherited from nature uh, yes the, that helps us to 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 perform very well that is what i feel and uh, i i in recent times indian women have broken uh, gender stereotypes to to rule global arena in the field of sports like wrestling boxing kabaddi and weightlifting and and yes they have performed very well so we have mini stars like saina nehwal pv sindhu sanya mirza so these are they have brought glory to sports area for india so i feel yes there are lot of opportunities there the it is required it is most important it's required the mindset of the society and the parents and uh, yes now government is also very supportive and uh, they had even our our prime minister is promoting sports and he is taking lot much of effort and interest in sports and uh, he he is conducting some one to one meeting he is felicitating sports person so 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 initiatives and drives have already started but uh, as a society we also have to look very positively for women in sports and we must promote and we must support our our daughters our daughter in laws uh, to just come forward and play sports that is what i feel very true this whole support is very very important and i think the support is of course from the entire family but i personally have always believed and this has been my motto for life actually that whenever i have any female friends i'm always helpful towards friends i believe in being so but whenever a female friend comes up for some help i go ahead without any hesitation and without any conditions because i know how difficult it is at times for girls and women to take up something seek that support go ahead and make it a success so it doesn't happen very easily and that's Isn't the reason we, we need true. more such people as anuradha ji and so many of them who we have invited on the show who themselves become a great example you know to show the others that here i am now if i could do this you could do it as well so true ma'am that's Very the whole true. idea anuradha ji just tell me something yeah. now you have been a coach and as i said you you must be following a certain method we don't want to know your secrets but <laughs> if, you, if you could let us in as to what what is your style or and or what is your method of training and what do you expect from the players yeah my first thing uh, when i anybody come to a coaching is discipline i follow discipline uh, mm -hmm. timing is very important i should i follow time before player come i be on a time so that player follow the time then whenever i teach them skill i enjoy i give them for enjoyment also but with discipline they learn cricket because without discipline you can't learn so i'm a little bit strict when it comes to cricket but out the field and i am like a friend to them after the cricket is finished so mm -hmm. i enjoy with them also and my time also i take it so i make them to learn also that's it and That's very yeah and i try to keep my thing very simple i don't make complicated and i make them communication more important whatever i take feedback means hmm. if i coach them then first i'll give them some program and after that program i'll be taking that feedback so that i know if they have learn or not they learn so that become more easier for me okay tell me now since the time you have been a trainer and a coach has yeah. there been any change in your method what have you learned from your own experiences yeah i have learned from my experiences as well as i have worked with my india coaches like purnima rao uh devika palshikar uh with my men's coaches i work and lots of have been changed in cricket so i have i have been changing or adapting new thing to the players because we can't go with same thing because as time come everything changes and we have to adapt new thing 
true. So now I'm going to come to a, a personal question, a personal favorite yeah. for you. Is it a T20? Is it a one day? Or is it a test cricket? Which is your personal favorite? And why would it be so? Uh, I like all three format actually. Uh, it's not like particular. This is my favorite. All three is has own uh, joy because Test has his joy. One day has different, and T Twenty is a fast cricket. So all three format is because cricket is my love actually. I don't have particular love for only one day or Test because I love all three cricket. I enjoy actually watching. Okay, so so you would go with. Any type of cricket, but give me cricket. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, Piyaji, let me ask you one thing. Now, do you think all these things, because now we have more and more of, uh, you know, women cricket being played, there's getting an acceptance for it. And Anuradha if I'm not wrong, we are also getting a good sponsorship for women's cricket, which earlier was a little difficult, perhaps, to come yeah. to. Uh, and yes, as well. So, so Priyaji, now please tell me, oh, do you think these women in blue, will be able to attract more such women towards the game. What is your idea as somebody who is a lover of sports? And then I'll ask the same thing to Anuradha Ji as well. Now, yes, absolutely. Is they can bring more girls into, into cricket. Yeah. Because they are now role, role models. So now they have just uh, derived the path and many many women or many girls can just follow this path uh, created by them. So it is absolutely um, uh, obvious that they have created something and the generations to come will definitely follow this path. Earlier cricket was male dominated uh, and uh, uh, but the picture has changed drastically now. So women have entered in this. They, they are doing phenomenal things. And many sports, sports women have started playing cricket, which is really amazing. So rather they are creating history. So yeah. these yes. blue girls, are, they are creating history. And now the, that history will remain forever. So because this is this is in, in the sports, sports of, uh, for uh, say, uh, 20th century, we can say uh, Indian, women in Indian cricket, they they have uh, they have done something amazingly great. And uh, that is a history that they, they, they will be created, uh, they will be treated as history creator in, this, in the area of sports. So, like uh, over the years or maybe in generations to come, if at all sports will be a part of curriculum, so these girls, these blue blue girls will be treated as a creation of history and there may be few lessons on them that how they are just uh, uh, started and what challenges they have faced and how they came over and how they created path. So, this is really a very great thing and of course, they have, there is bright career for them, future for them and uh, uh, and obviously I will give some credit to entertainment media also because recently we have many biopics on sports so like uh, Bhag Mil Khama Abhag is there, Chakde is there, uh, so uh, uh, girls in hockey so Chakde has given some different perspective to us how women has performed extraordinary in the in hockey. So maybe in recent times, like uh, we we will see many such things, uh, such movies or series on uh, women in cricket. There definitely, and really, I feel very proud watching them playing and being successful. And uh, yes, uh, they have, uh, as we always talk about uh, sports, sports ecosystem, so they all have bright career as a coach, as a player, as an umpire, and maybe dietitian, nutritionist. So the, the playing, uh, coming, entering them into this field has opened a lot many opportunities for other service providers also. So in totality, it's, it's, it's a great boon for uh, cricket. Uh, and uh, I think uh, this IPL has also created something different. Maybe uh, recently, I think two, three years back, pre-COVID, uh, there was one match of women IPL. Uh, in IPL, there was one one match of uh, women also for cricket as a cricket. So I think if, uh, if 
if our government thinks and our BCCI thinks, then there is, there, we will be able to see the very soon uh, uh, IPL for women also. So there may be two seasons like recently, or maybe mix like mix kind of thing. So like mixed doubles, what we see in tennis. So there may be lot many possibilities we can explore in coming coming times. So let us hope for the best. I am sure nothing stops us from hoping for the best. That's very yeah. true. So, so uh, we need to wrap up this program now. And Adunada Chair, I'll come back to you to ask you what is your message or what is your appeal to get more girls in cricket? Or in um, one thing is uh, now the, any sports is being viewed on TV. So now World Cup is going on like cricket and viewers has been increased like every in household they are watching tv so it is like no need of calling anyone you can watch now parents have been interested to keep uh, put their child in the sports field right now rather than before it was only education because now it is sports has a career they are taking it because i have players more of age of 10 what training because parents has been interest has started for cricket right okay so let's hope that as a, as supriya ji also said and anuradha ji as you have also been with them all the time with these girls that we have more girls not just in cricket but also in sports in general but we see more as i said visibility of women and girls playing out in the open because at a certain age, they are pulled back in home to say, enough, you're growing up. Now you should not be seen out. Uh, you're right. jumping and playing. So now we yes. want, we actually want them. We want them to be out. Age is no bar uh, for bar. them, as we would think about. So with on that note, I guess uh, we should wrap up this episode. Anuradha Redka, thank you very much for joining in, in today's episode. Uh, it has been a great, great time talking to you. Thank you so much, ma'am. And we will see you next Saturday at 5 p.m. on the World of Sports. Stay tuned.